in this calm language, as far back as I could remember, there we are divided in three areas, and we have just a very slight little dialect different from the other that. For example, my sister always said, uh, oh, he came from Pisht, or, or he, he's from Port Gamble, or something like that. So, with the Khan language, we don't, we have the same language, but however, some pronounce it a little bit different uh, with a slow drag or fast. The Klaalm alphabet is based on a standard set of symbols used in writing many of the Native American language of the Northwest. Since the Klaalm language has several sounds not found in European languages like English, some special symbols must be used to represent these sounds. Although some of the symbols may be unfamiliar, Klaalm spelling is really much easier than English spelling. In Klaalm, each symbol generally stands for one sound and each sound has one symbol. This is not true for English spelling where, for example, words like enough, cough, and dough are spelled with similar letters. They are either not pronounced at all or have unexpected pronunciation. The following is a list of all the letters in Klaalm alphabet shown in their alphabetical order. The following chart shows the sounds of Klaalm arranged according to where and how the sound is pronounced in the mouth. For example, all of the sounds in the first column, P, ejected P, M, ejected M, are pronounced with both lips together. The following describes the consonant sounds column by column. You can hear all of these examples spoken by native speakers on the Klaalm language website. P, ejected P, M, glottalized M. These four sounds are produced with the lips together. T, ejected T, N, glottalized N. These four sounds are produced with the tip of the tongue against the area above the gums behind the upper teeth. C, ejected C, S. These sounds are produced with the tongue in about the same position as for T, ejected T, and N. C wedge, ejected C wedge, S wedge, Y, glottalized Y. These are produced with the tongue towards the front part of the roof of the mouth, a little farther back than for T. Bard lambda, bard L, L. These three sounds are produced with the tip of the tongue positioned as for T, but with the air flowing around the side of the tongue. K. This sound is very rare in Klaalam. It occurs only in a few words borrowed from Chinook jargon, English, French, or some other language. It is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of English kick. K with a raised W, ejected K with a raised W, X with a raised W, W, glottalized W. These sounds are produced with the lips rounded and the back of the tongue raised towards the back of the roof of the mouth. Q, ejected Q, back X, N with a hook, glottalized N with a hook. These sounds are all produced with the tongue pulled extremely far back in the mouth. Q with a raised W, ejected Q with a raised W, back X with a raised W. These sounds are similar to the preceding sounds, but are produced with the lips rounded. Glottal stop, H. These sounds are both produced deep in the throat, right at the vocal cords. I, E, schwa, A, U. These are the vowels of Klaalam. I is the same as the I in English, machine. E is rare in Klaalam and occurs before a glottal stop, and sometimes before Y or glottalized Y. It is the same as E in English, bet.
The upside down E is called a schwa. It is pronounced like A and O of English above, or like the U in English cut. It can also sound like vowels of English hook, hit, or hot, depending on what it is next to. A is slightly longer than the other vowels. It is pronounced like the vowel in English call. U is usually pronounced like the U in English tune or the U in English hoot. It is also sometimes more like the vowel of English boat, especially when it comes before a glottal stop. Hartnixt a queen's hartlam. Nist aimut in queer